mental attitude and the rhythm of success. What comes to mind when you think of the word success? What comes to mind when you think of success, Brothers and Soros? Perhaps we might think of success as an achievement, an accomplishment of a certain goal, a vision, or a dream. Perhaps we might equate success to happiness and living a life of wealth and financial abundance. Though these are possible outcomes of success, it does not describe success in its entirety. Success is an internal state of being. And two components is essential, or two components are essential for, for success. They include our mental attitude and our character. Mental attitude is a habitual way we think, feel, and act. Character, on the other hand, is an objective expression of the soul personality and is linked to our soul consciousness. True success comes from the awakening of our inner nature and learning to express our best in our daily behavior. It is as a result of living our full potential. We experience limitless success when we attain higher states of illumination by purifying our personality of its imperfection. When we purify our personality of its imperfection, our soul shines at its loveless and we illuminate our entire existence. We will then live in perfect harmony with the most elevated planes of cosmic consciousness and experience boundless success and fulfillment. Let us look at the illustration. Second. Let us look at this illustration that describes this process further. The first image is a glass, it's a glass ball that, that is covered in dust. We can notice that a light reflection from such a bulb is limited. As the bulb is cleaned, more light is revealed. The more it is cleaned, the greater the brilliance of the light is revealed. The light reflection represents the soul personality. As the bulb is cleaned, the more light is revealed. The more it is cleaned, the greater the brilliance of the light is revealed. The light reflection represents the soul personality and the act of cleaning the glass represents the gradual evolvement of the soul personality. When the glass bulb is fully cleaned, it is transparent and the soul represented by the filaments emitting the light shines in its full brilliance. At this state, we experience limitless success. Let us remember our mission on earth, which is to evolve the soul personality. Since the soul is perfect, the goal of our spiritual evolution is to rediscover our perfection by learning to commune with our soul and act accordingly to its impulses. When we achieve this state of perfection, our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual behavior is completely in accordance with divine laws and fully reflects the greatness of universal intelligence. So just how can we reach this state of perfection and experience limitless success? I will now let you contemplate on this question. We learn in our Resurrection teachings that the best way to attain this state of perfection is through the study of our character as it reflects an important aspect of our soul personality and gives a valuable indication to any weaknesses in our behavior. It is important that we improve and purify our character of its undesirable traits and to do so, we must work to overcome our weaknesses. In addition, by striving to express this character of virtues in our thoughts and actions, we maintain a positive mental attitude that is essential for our evolution. When we purify our thoughts, feelings, actions, 
We create the conditions for our success and happiness each day. The only way for us to be truly happy is to evolve towards perfection. To evolve towards perfection is to work on achieving higher states of consciousness by maintaining a positive attitude and improving our character. So how can we improve our character daily? Let us refer to Benjamin Franklin's chat of where he lists 13 virtues for character building. Benjamin Franklin, an 18th century statesman, author and scientist who was closely associated with the Rosicrucians in Pennsylvania, made a, a list of 13 virtues with the explanation. This list he used to develop and strengthen his character. He started working to improve his character at an early age, and for the rest of his life, he strove to express these virtues in thoughts and actions with a success evidenced by his place in history and reputation. Let us reflect on Benjamin Franklin's list. Listed in the chart are the 13 virtues Benjamin worked on developing. The days of the week are also listed so we may monitor our progress should we decide to use this chart. By setting a goal for character development, execution of our action plans and continuous reevaluation of our progress, we will be creating a structured reading of success. Structured readings are a series of healthy readings that we repeat over and over that keep us on target and reinforces accountability. Through structured readings, we create habits and the energy we expend in creating our goals is it's rhythmic, habitual and consistent, a key component for success. Precious and Soros, in order to develop our character, let's reflect on some qualities which we seek to improve. Take a moment to make a stop doing list. In this list, we will state the things we want to improve in order to strengthen our character. For example, procrastination, profanity, judgment of others, and so forth. These three tendencies we would like to change now. Now, let's make a start doing a list. In this list, we will state the qualities we seek to improve. In the book, The Law of Success by Napoleon Hill, he points out that each night just before going to bed, he will shut his eyes and see in his imagination certain well-known people whose characteristics he wished to absorb into his personality. He proceeded to talk to these imaginary figures in this manner. Mr. Lincoln, I desire to build in my character these qualities of patience and fairness towards all humankind. That were your astounding characteristics. I need these qualities and I shall not be contented until I have developed them. Are these certain qualities we admire in others and would like to have? We can add this to our start doing list. Let's proceed with making this list. List three qualities we want to strengthen our character. For example, understanding, sincerity, resolution, and so forth. Let's take a moment to make our start doing list.
Friends and servants, let us now proceed with a brief meditation. Sit relax with your spine straight and hands on claps on your thighs. Take deep neutral breaths. As you breathe in, feel your muscles begin to relax. Visualize a whiteboard in front of you. And project onto this whiteboard your stuff doing list. Using an eraser, proceed with erasing these tendencies one at a time until you have erased all three of them. Now project onto this whiteboard the qualities you want. How does it look and feel when you have these qualities? How will it affect you? And how will it affect others? See and feel it now. If it pleases the cosmic, it is done, so motively. Fridays and Soros, I will now summarize this presentation. Success is an entire state, it's an internal state of being, and two key components are essential for success. They include our mental attitude and our character. Mental attitude is the habitual way we think, feel, and act. Character, on the other hand, is an objective expression of the soul personality and its link to our soul consciousness. We experience limitless success when we attain higher states of illumination by purifying our personality of its imperfection. Let us remember our mission and act, which is to evolve the soul personality. Since the soul is perfect, the goal of our spiritual evolution is to rediscover our perfection by learning to commune with our soul and act according to its impulses. We learn in our Rosicrucian teachings that the best way to attain this state of perfection is through the study of our character as this reflects an important aspect of our soul personality and gives a valuable indication to any weaknesses in our behavior. To evolve towards perfection is to work on achieving higher states of consciousness by maintaining a positive mental attitude and improving our character. 
By setting a goal for character development, execution, and continuous reevaluation of our progress, we will be creating a structured reading of success. Thank you, Francis and Soros. <laughs>